Fallen from grace, it is a hard day for Music City. Mayor Megan Berry has resigned after pleading guilty to theft charges. Despite repeated calls for her to step down, Berry had dug in her heels for weeks, vowing not to leave the office she worked most of her career to get to. At 5 o'clock tonight, though, her resignation became official. News Channel 5's Chris Conti is at City Hall. And Chris, not an easy day for her staff or for the entire city. It has been an easy day for no one. This city has watched collectively over the years as Megan Berry has climbed the political ladder. First, of course, when she was elected to the Metro Council back in 2007, and then as she became the first female mayor back in 2015. There were so many people, including the mayor herself, who thought that she could survive this political firestorm. But tonight, after she worked so hard to get to this office, it is no longer hers. There are those in Nashville who still stood with Megan Barry. <sighs> today, though, she stood alone and faced the end of her political career. Well, my time today as your mayor concludes. My unwavering love and sincere affection for this wonderful city and its great people will never come to an end. An incredible rise to power, a painful fall from grace. It has been my honor and it has been the privilege of my entire professional life to have had the blessing and the opportunity to be your mayor. This was not an easy day for Megan Barry, and it was not an easy day for her staff. The mayor's own shortcomings, though, brought about her political demise. There was no surviving her affair with bodyguard Rob Forrest. She stole taxpayer dollars, and she shot District Attorney Glenn Funk one final look in court this morning before she pled guilty to a felony. What is your conditional plea to the charge of theft of property, guilty or not guilty? Guilty. She kept that smile as she was booked by Metro Police. Her tone, though, quickly changed at City Hall. Before reporters just after 10 a.m. came the resignation so many have been calling for. Nashville, with its boundless energy, its infectious optimism, it has never encountered an obstacle it couldn't overcome attitude, will, in the years ahead, continue its steady march toward the very top of the list of great American cities. It's a continued climb that I will watch, but I will watch as a private citizen, and I will be tremendously proud nonetheless. This was a far cry from the day Megan Barry was sworn in as the city's first female mayor in 2015. A hand-delivered letter to Vice Mayor David Briley made it official, March 6, 2018. I hereby resign the office of Metropolitan County Mayor effective as of 5 p.m., perhaps the hardest sentence Megan Barry will ever have to write. And then she said goodbye. God bless this wonderful city. I love you, Nashville. Megan Barry made history as the city's first female mayor. The resignation today will stand alone in history as well. After Megan Barry was booked, she returned here to City Hall for one final time. She spent about an hour saying goodbye and thanking her staff members that have worked so diligently and hard over the course of the last few years. Tonight, for the first time in almost 11 years, Megan Barry is a regular citizen of Davidson County. She is no longer a politician. We are live at City Hall this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.